Hey guys. Sorry this video is late. Things happened and I couldn't get my question and answer video shot, but I'm prepared today with my questions. And then afterwards we're going to try out this bubble maker to see how the dogs like the bubbles. I know that two of them like chasing bubbles. This one, it looks like I need batteries. The one I had last year when I would um, make the bubbles, it made a really loud noise and it scared Max. So this one takes batteries, so I'm hoping this one maybe is quieter and can make some bubbles for the dogs to chase for you guys. <laughs> I love watching them do it too because it's so funny. Anyway, on to the questions. Okay, yes, first I want to address, yes, I know bully sticks are bull penises. <laughs> yes, I know. A lot of people um, asked me that on the video of me giving them bully sticks. Yes, I know what they're made of and my dogs like them. We've got to get over how we think about what it is and let the dogs enjoy them. And my dogs do. What do you got? What do you got? Look at it. Okay. All right. Sorry, it's windy. I hope. I hope my camera is not picking up all the wind. Um. Let me check. I'm gonna check my camera see if it's uh, picking up the wind. I might have to go inside. Okay. I moved my camera. Um back a little more so hopefully the wind isn't picking up so much. I wanted to try to get the background with the boys walking around and playing but I don't know how this is going to work out so we shall see when I watch it back. Hey Maggie. Hey Maggie. You just want to play with the bubbles don't you? Yes. Okay. Are my boys ever overwhelmed when a lot of people are over? Um. I wouldn't say they get overwhelmed. Um, they get really excited. Uh, whenever somebody comes to our house, they, <laughs> there's nothing I could do. They jump around, they bark, but they only do it for like a minute. And then they're calm and they're laying down next to you, just letting you pet them and just chilled out. So no, they don't really get overwhelmed at all. Just the first couple minutes when someone comes over. Okay, do I keep any first aid things in the house uh, for the boys? Um, I think the only thing I really keep in the house is a quick stop. So in case I cut their uh, nail bed too short and it starts to bleed, that happened to me one time. And it was good to have that stuff uh, in the house on hand uh, to stop that bleeding. And I'll put a link below if I can find it um, for you uh, down below so you know what I'm talking about. I keep Benadryl in the house in case they have a reaction, um, like when uh, Marley had his hives. Um, check with your vet though on how much, uh, how many milligrams you should give your pet. It all goes by their weight. Um, so I keep that in the house and I now keep that Aveeno um, oatmeal uh, stuff I used on Marley when he had his hives. I'll link that below too for you. Those are the three things I really only keep in the house. Um, to make sure I have on hand for any problems. Those are the only things that have occurred so far with my boys. Um, if anything else happened with them, um, I'm not sure what else would. I'd probably keep whatever I needed for that now in the house too. Um, when they were puppies, what sort of chew or toy did you give them? I gave them just regular old toys, any kind of toys, but we usually had the cow hooves um, on hand for them to chew on and they really liked those when they were younger. They, can't, they don't really care for them as much anymore. It's weird because they used to love them um, all the time before, but now they don't. So I've been buying those uh, bully sticks and I get, um, I do get rawhide bones. I know a lot of people don't like rawhide bones, but I do get um, rawhide bones, nice quality ones. And I think that's about, and I do give them dental chews um, every day. And I'll link um, what I use for that all below the stuff I give them uh, to chew on. How did we decide on the schnauzer breed? Uh, my husband had schnauzers growing up and he wanted a schnauzer and then once I got Mozzie I wanted more schnauzers. <laughs> but that's how my husband had them growing up. Um, when I was growing up we always had just uh, mutts not a specific breed. 
Do any of my boys enjoy belly rubs? All four. They all four do. How are my kids with the dogs? Do they favor a certain pup? My kids are great with the dogs. My son favors Marley, and Marley favors my son. He loves my son. Um, I don't know. My daughter likes, she says if she ever moved out and had, and had to take one of the dogs with her, she would take Mozzie. Because Mozzie would just lay in bed with her all day, because that's what my daughter would do if she could. <laughs> she And I'm not saying she's lazy. She goes to uh, college full-time. She works a full-time job. So she's not lazy, but she said, Mozzie's most like her, just lazing around. <laughs> okay. Now this question I had no idea how to answer. If I had to pick a celebrity who represents each of the boys, who would I pick? I have no idea because I barely watch TV and I don't really watch movies. So I have no idea. I may need to ask my family this um, see if they had any clue on how to answer this. But... I'll have to get back to you on that one. Is it harmful for dogs to eat grass seed? I wouldn't think it would be good, but I'm not sure if it's harmful. I would Google that and see. I'm not sure. Um, I would keep them away from it anyways because you're trying to grow grass, but I don't know if it's harmful or not. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments below. Okay. When my dogs are sleeping in their crates at night, do I ever have to let them out to go to the bathroom? Hardly ever. Um, hardly ever at all do I have to, unless one of them's sick or something, um, which is hardly ever. Uh, no, I don't. They usually sleep right through the night. Have I ever groomed my dog without a grooming loop and table? And did the table and loop make it easier? Yes, I groomed them on my dining room table. It was horrible. Horrible. That's why I got a table and a loop. It made it life so much easier. I remember one day grooming them on the dining room table and I told my husband, I will not groom them again without a grooming table and loop. And he said, okay, go order one. <laughs> and I'll leave the links below to uh, the table I purchased. But... Okay, that's all the questions. I'm going to go put batteries in this and see how the boys enjoy playing with bubbles. Be right back. Mozzie's literally having a ball. <laughs> 